Hi, I'm Paul Pasolka, Ivy Masters Learning Center and ivymasters.com. And today we're going to look at Test 5, Section 4, Number 17. But before we do, we've got to read this table and see what it has to say about the table because notice questions 16 to 18 refer to the following information. What we get here is species of trees and what we get here is growth factor. I don't know about you, but I'm not a biologist, so I don't know what growth factor is, so what do I do? I read the caption below, which says, one method of calculating the approximate age in years of a tree of a particular species is to multiply the diameter of the tree in inches by a constant called the growth factor for that species. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to scroll down and... I'm going to write the equation that I just saw, which is age equals diameter times growth factor. And now when I read my number 17 here, I know what I'm, I know all I have to do is plug in and see what my answer is. So number 17 reads, the scatter plot above gives the tree diameter plotted against age for 26 trees of a single species. The growth factor of the species is closest to that of which of the following species of tree. So it's asking about growth factor. So based on my equation over here, what I need to know is, I need to know age and diameter and then I can know growth factor. What do you know on our graph here? I've got diameter there and I've got age there. And it looks like when the diameter is 11, the age is about 80. So in place of D, I put 11. In place of A, I put 80. And my equation becomes 80 equals 11G. Most of the time, students are drawing a line of best fit here. Notice it's not necessary here. If I divide both sides by 11, the 11s cancel here. And I get that my G equals 7 point something. And this is the width calc math. You could get an approximate value. But actually, when we go back to our table up here, we find that it's not really necessary because there's only one tree that has a growth factor that's a little more than seven. Shag bark history. Hickory. Sounds like uh, Austin Powers tree. Shag bark. Okay. Anyway, answer choice D, shag bark hickory, is going to be our answer. And that's it. Thank you for joining us today. If you like this video, click like. You could share it with someone who has trouble with line of best fit questions, even though this really isn't that, or one that has a table that relates to a graph. If there's any question you'd like to see answered from any official PSAT or SAT or ACT, leave that in the comments. I'd be happy to shoot a video on it. And click subscribe so you don't miss anything. Have a great day.